Koholo Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom Labakorium, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Bahashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bashim Rakakwadash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the spirit of truth, Shalom Labakorium, peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children. Who was, you know, chosen to be delivered in these last days. All right. And uh, I want to speak on Romans, the 12th chapter. You know, there's a couple things I want to speak on. Uh, hospitality. Because when you get that word hospitality, where does it come from? It comes from the word hospital. Okay. It says what? Well, act of being hospitable from old French. Hospitable. I'm not even going to try. Hospitality, hospital from Latin, all right? Nominative, right? It says friendliness to guest, <laughs> all right? That's heavy right there in itself, you know? Because the scriptures talk about a friend. Ooh, let's go. Watch this. The scriptures tell you, what is a friend, all right? A friend is known as medicine. Right, it says a faithful friend is the medicine of life. <laughs> and they that fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall find him. Okay, we know Yahweh Shai is the way, the truth, and what? The life. All right. And the light, Salakia. He's the way, the truth, and the light. All right. But the light is the life. You know, you got and Yahweh Shai is he does represent life. Because what? That's the word of the Lord. Now, who how does this apply? This applies because the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? The body of Yahweh Shai is those friends. That's why Yahweh Shai said what he said. He said, What? I no longer call you servants. Right? Babe, two seconds. Give me one second. I, uh, I'm mistaken here. Yes, yeah, and John. Right. Well, you have this one. Here we go. John 15. I started 13. It says, Greater love hath no man than this, that he layeth down his life for his friends. Right. And a part of laying your life down. You know, we know that's in a, in a, from a carnal sense as well, but you have a spiritual sense of it. When I say a carnal sense of it, I mean the aspect of, you know, a, a man dying for an, another man because that was the act of Yahweh Shai. Now you have the other aspect of uh, John 15 and 13, because what? Scriptures also, if you, uh, like it talks about uh, hating your own life. Okay, and and when you lay your life down, also to the because we're crucif we're going through the through through the uh, crucifying already. We, you know, we do, we're going through the purge. We're going we're dying every day, so it, the things that pertain to our life don't matter. Why? Because for the sake of the body, ultimately, okay, the thing our dreams, our aspirations, or uh, our goals, some of our endeavors, sometimes it's financial. All right, but that's not the, but that may not be what the Most High needs you to do at that moment, in order to, you know, put more focus on the body. Okay, so it says here. It says, "Greater love have no man than this, that that a man lay down his life, for who his friends." Okay, and when, look. We all got priorities. We all got things to do. And given we're talking about the concept of hospitality, okay? Because we're going to go also to in the concept of a hospital. And um, what is that going to mean in the near future? Because no matter how you slice it, dice it, you want to say it's violation, this violation, that. That's not, that's essentially not what this is. This is not a false narrative, what I'm going to say. This is not something that's not going to happen. All right. What, what I'm what I'm explaining is, is, you know, typically when you you know hospitals, okay, hospitals, there's a lot of death in those places. 
All right. And then as the time goes forth, you have, you know, COVID and you have all these different, you know, uh, 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 strengths of, uh, 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 of diseases. And you got the flu, you got, you got this, you got that, you got heart, you got all kind of manners of death. It's not just COVID. Okay. You got cancer, you got, you know, just death is all around right now, but where is that place of distribution or, or I shouldn't say, where's that vessel? Okay, truly carried out one way in shape or another. You got to go through what? You got to go through the hospital. Okay, and who's uh, 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 mandating the, uh, the 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 mask, the wearing of a mask? All right. Essentially, it's the uh, uh, the Food and Drug Administration, the 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 CDC, which is what hospitals. Okay, essentially, that's what they are. OK, not by definition, but through the concept, not by etymology, but through the concept of what this world you say, because you're, you're essentially your home is supposed to be a hospital. That's why not for nothing. And hey, man, it is what it is. The cat is out the bag. Look, Esau, you're going to bring it out anyway. Don't get mad when we say it first, but it's going to be brought out. Why doctors say we was taken out? OK, things like that that have happened. Why? Because natural remedies, man. All right, there's, uh, I was speaking to this young lady. I don't know, she didn't give me the name, all right? And it's all in the spirit, but there's a there's a community in Jamaica of an individual that's living off the grid, just off earth and water, and eating, you know, eating healthy and things of that nature, you know? And they have their own civilization. They have their own, They you know, they have their, and, and but people look at that man as, as he's crazy. Why? Because of mass media, or that covering cast over all nations. All right. Now, I don't want to go too far off, you know, but let me just bring this out as well. It says, what? Well, ye are my friends if ye do so whatever I command you. You see, it says, henceforth, I call you not servants for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. Ooh, why? Because the servant and the Lord is not around each other as much. All right. The Lord, the, the Lord of the house, the master of the house. He just, he distributes the task. He's not necessarily a one-on-one a, a -on -one with the servants. He just distributes. Why? Because typically the master of the house is delegating from a different perspective. But see, Yahweh Shai, he knitted the bond, if you will, you know, especially through that breaking of the wall of partition, making that union between him, all right? Remember, because the scriptures talk about... Uh, 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 he made himself a little lower than the angels, all right? And he also took upon him what? The uh, the seed of David to suffer with his kindred, you see? Because, again, the hospitality, what is hospitality in these days in, in, a, in America? It doesn't fit. The concept of the, uh, 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 the hospital doesn't fit, all right? Because everything that we do is extremely spiritual, man. Okay, everything that we do is extremely spiritual, especially of the body. The scriptures tell you with two or three gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. That's healing in itself. Let me go back to Romans, the 12th chapter now. All right. This is, it says what? For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you. Oh, no, no, no. I got it. I'm sorry. I read it early before I turned the video on. I just jumped back into the part. All right. I'm going to start from the top because I did not read this yet. Right, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present yourselves, you, I'm sorry, you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Right? It says, which is your reasonable service? You see, because as I just explained, the sacrifice is what? You know, that because a sacrifice, you're killing something with a sacrifice. So you're killing the old man, you're killing old attributes, you're killing uh 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 you're killing things that are in the way, okay? That seem to be beneficial for you, okay? That's that's what a sacrifice is. You know, although I like to do this, I'll put this away for my own likening, because of my own likening, to serve the body, okay? It says what? That you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy, Meaning what? Separate, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Okay? It says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of the, of the Most High. All right? So, you know, 
I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but what, a point I want to get, because this is what Paul started off saying in this chapter, okay? Verse 9, it says, let love be without a sim dis sim dissimulation. Let's look at that word, dissimulation. Unfeigned, meaning fake. Fake, don't, 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 it says undisguised, you know, meaning not being not fake. Don't disguise it. Be sincere, sincere love, right? It says Ab abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate one to another, right? Meaning doesn't mean necessarily that you open the door for a man or whatever. Kindly is dealing with the fact of, you know, long suffering. You know, allowing, you know, to a, 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 a man may, you know, offend you in a particular way and you you suffer it. You go through it. That's what it means to be kind. OK, you have because what he talked about mercy from the beginning. These are all healing agents, if you will, because how is the Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai healing Israel? He's healing Israel through his mercy. All right. So this is why we have to put on these attributes. Why? Because. Men are fighting spirits and fighting ailments in the body and ailments in the mind to where when you synchronize, there's a lot of healing, you know? There's a lot of healing in synchronization. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is, Yahweh Shai is pure energy, man. Pure energy, okay? It says what? In honor, preferring one another, not slothful in business, fervent in the... Sp Ooh, is it, what does it mean to be fervent? It means to be hot. All right. And how do it essentially through radiation, which radiation is nothing but heat being transferred. That's another that's just another way of heat being transferred. Convection. All right. Convection, radiation. I can't think of the other one. Oh, and uh, con uh, conduction. All right. Convection, conduction and and radiation. Those are three transformations of heat. <laughs> okay. And Esau and his science, they use radiation, leukemia, to kill cancer, so to speak. But what it does is because of the, the elements that they use to emit that heat, damages the brain and damages the body. This is fact. I didn't make this up. I'm not in there. Okay. I didn't make this up. I didn't write this up. This, this is all kind of reports. This, this is our family members we're talking about here. Okay? This is our experience we're talking about. So Esau, you have some nerve to, to try to... You're going to ban us for the things... Well, all we're doing reporting what you already brought out in the first place. How you going to get mad at us? You know? It says what? Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Ooh, preferring one another. That's honor, man. People say, oh, double honor to the elders and apostles, you know, and then run your jibs in a particular manner where it's not held in a in, a, in an honorable sense, man. You know? It says a, a valuing by which the price is... Ooh, hold on, what's that word again? Ooh, yep. Preferring. Let's get it. It says to oh, okay to go before and sh and show the way. Ooh, why? Because I I brought out that before about the leader and the boss. Because the leader shows the way. The boss talks about the way. That's why Yahweh Shai said, "No longer call you." We're not. It's not Lord to serve it anymore. We're friends. We're gonna mingle. We're gonna dine together. We're gonna eat together. Because that's what Yahweh Shai showed. He shows that hospitality, man. That's why he's the physician. Being hospitable, all right? Let me get that word real quick because you got hospitality, right? Now let's go to hospital. It says shelter for the needy, okay? From the late non-use, noodle of the guest, guest of a guest or host, all right? As a noun, guest, the duties of hospitality. Mm. The host. <whistles> oh, shoot. That's another aspect all right so oh man my bad Akim. Wa -ak -waf. 
It says to go before, to show the way, to go before and lead, to go before as a leader. All right. It says not slothful in business. That's right, man. Not slothful in business, man. This is a business that we uphold in, man. Through the spirit, this is a business of friends. All right? It's nothing like when friends do business. Nothing like that. A true friends. You know, not the way this world is. You know, the, this, well, this world doesn't know true friendship. That's why everything is decaying. The, the love of many is going to wax cold because people don't know friendship. You see? Fervent in the spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. See? Patience in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. And I'm going to say this. There's healing in prayer, for one, in which you got healing in prayer. Yo, basically, which is another topic, Lord's well, I'll probably go into it later. But ultimately, prayer is nothing but spiritual power. That's what prayer is. Come on. If you really believe, well, do you believe in it? We plan, you praying to be delivered. You praying to be delivered, right? That's going to be an act of spiritual power. It's just that simple. This word cannot be stopped, yo. That's what it boils down to. All right. <laughs> Yeah, man, because I'm going to go into that later. It's a dis disturbing to the necessities of saints. Given to hospitality, man. No, just distributing. Distributing to the necessity of the saints. You see, meaning what? You got to know your office, as I spoke about earlier in this chapter. When you go into the rest of the chapter, I skipped over, but you got to know your office. And knowing your office, you being a distributor. Man, I did a video a while back about this is a catering service, man. I've done catering before. There's a particular way you got to move being a caterer. Although you're controlling someone's food, there's a certain etiquette to this thing, man. Okay? Look that word up, man. All right? Through the spirit, I've done, I did a video on that as well. All right? I said, given to hospitality. All right? And I've got one more other scripture. I want to go into this definition of hospitality real quick. Philo, that means love. All right? Philo. No, I'm sorry, brother. Let's see what it says. Strong's G, 5381. Philoxenia. Philoxenia. It is. Philo, philo is love. Like uh, like Philadelphia. You know? Because uh, that's what got me mixed up. It said brotherly. You know? Because Philadelphia is... The, uh, Philadelphia is... is uh, th that means brotherly love. All right? So philo means uh, 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 love. All right? Like 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 Sophia. All right, meaning what? The love of wisdom. It says love to strangers, hospitality. All right, but we're not dealing with any old stranger. The strangers are our. It's really the elect. All right, and that's why you gonna, That's how you're gonna know who the elect is in different places because they're gonna stand out as the strangers of everybody else in the circumference in where they live. In all the nations across the four winds, because that goes back into what I mentioned earlier about the covering cast over all nations, the veil that is spread. All right. That veil that is spread is co co uh, covering the judgment of the people of the earth and they're falling into the hospitality of Esau Edom. All right. One more. I want to put this out here as well. Let's go. Let's cancel. Let's go search. Here we go. It's in, it's in Titus and it's also in Timothy because Paul wrote these letters to Titus and Timothy on how to govern the church. I'll start from the top. Titus 1 and 1. Paul is servant of the Most High and apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach according to the faith of the Most High's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness and hope of eternal life which the Most High that cannot lie promised before the world began but have in due times Manifest his word through preaching, which is committed to me, uh, unto the uh, committed unto me according to the commandment of the Most High, our, our Savior, the, of God, our Savior, which is talking about Yahweh Shai. To Titus, my own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from the Most High, the Father, and Yahweh Shai, 
For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city, as I have appointed thee. All right? It says, if any be blameless, the, the husband of one wife, having full faithful children, right? Not a, accused of riot or unruly. It says, for a bishop must be blameless, right? Now, you're not going to be able to get everything. You're supposed to try. You're supposed to really try to, to accomplish these things and not just elder men, but all men. If the elders are supposed, to, are supposed to move like this, how much more all the other men in Israel, okay? It says what? Not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy. Oh, the scripture tell you, uh, oh man, be thou continuous with a godly man. That's a good one. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, sometimes Jake be into their family and all that, man. Nah, the hell with your family, man. You know? Yeah. I think it says, miss not the discourse of the godly. Yeah, there here it goes. Be willing to... Uh, that's not the same one. Yeah, it says, Be willing to hear every godly discourse. That's, it's still a good one. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee. That's not just on videos. All right? Because, oh, look, at the end of this thing, man, this is we, we, we all we got, man. That's what it all boils down to. We all we got, man. All right? But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast... Fast the faithful word as it as as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. You know, because all we doing is teaching the things that have been taught to us, and that's the tradition. That's the that's why he called Titus his son, man, because Titus followed in the blueprint and what was taught to him from Paul. All right. I'm going to close on that, man. Let's lock it. One more thing. Because I did want to go into the definition. I know I'm stretching it. So lock it. <laughs> I wanted to go to the definition of hospitality as well. Yeah. Kind of the same. Hospitable, generous, generous to guests. Same thing. Same word. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shalom.